even if you're a cloud-born company and you try to modernize your infrastructure or you kind of try to move completely into the cloud, then we come in and help you throughout the migration period for dev and DevOps and also in production, protecting and gatekeeping those environments from you know, cyber attacks and, and anything that, you know, misconfig that all those famous breaches kind of uh, we hear about too often. One of the customers that actually we started the journey with was, um, 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 they're basically um, focused on um, business analytics. Um, some of their infrastructure is running on-prem on traditional kind of VMware infrastructure and they are in the migration process into AWS. They are already running some of their workloads on AWS and even their first kind of Kubernetes cluster is already there. And the way that we started our journey with them is by monitoring their AWS account, their Kubernetes cluster, um, and monitoring all the moving parts they presently have. And now, from kind of a journey standpoint, we're helping them on-prem which will eventually kind of land them back in AWS and expand the Kubernetes footprint that they have. We leverage a lot of the kind of baked in security controls that AWS has to offer uh, when it comes to kind of securing your access to your um, EKS cluster with IAM roles, um, getting all that in place. And even when it comes to running our workloads, we keep them secure, leveraging some of the basic kind of uh, security features that um, AWS bring in, VPC and the account handling. Um, so all in all, we kind of try to kind of, um, you know, build a service, leveraging the cloud native security controls and extend that with what we have to offer for ourselves actually. So 2019 is going to be a lot about um, application mesh and service mesh, which is, there is a lot of hype around that and customers are trying to kind of experiment with those platforms. Um, yet again, it's a complex platform, so complexity bring, brings in a lot of security challenges. So we're trying to kind of uh, deliver value at those early stages on one hand, and then, you know, keep growing our existing install base around Kubernetes. So that's kind of how we balance the technology shift and like problems that customers face today.